to understand is you, you have to get the arms out of position first, and you shouldn't be too hyper focused on one submission. You should be open to give yourself an opportunity to see what's available. Okay, so if if you're here, okay, I want to be able to take the head off line here. And he'll be committed to his frames right here, okay? So from here, I want to roll my hip into his frame. It forces him to be committed to this frame. I'm either going to pull it up and roll it up, or if he's really firm about keeping it down, I'm going to push it down and roll over. From here, my object, I got, and then I got to move this arm out of the way. My cross face arm has to move. If it doesn't move, I can't walk around the head and it's just a weird position. I gotta move this arm out and this arm blocking that hip. Uh, okay. So my right hand blocks this hip right here so that I can slide up and I can continue to just be here. Because he's not very comfortable here. Because, John, what would you do from here? Uh, I told him that. He's not comfortable by shoot. Yeah. And you see how it exposes that arm going on the side? And it's fantastic because you have a lot more options here. And one option he doesn't have is to put you back at a half guard from here or recover a guard. He's got to really be worried about this right here. Because this Kimura is a big threat right here. But even if he holds on to it, it's fine. You can begin to attack arm locks and just getting them into a position where they're more on the defensive. If they're here, okay, that's the thing. Then we have Professor Brad, it's hard to get past this right here because he keeps you corralled in this side control where it's very, very uncomfortable. Hard pressure here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then this, but what he did, he frames that leg kind of out there and it's kind of, you can't get leverage here, here, and then, you know, and then he, and then, and then you know what he does? You know what he does is that, and then he grabs your head. You drop over to your left. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. And then he grabs you, and then he goes, the rolls are over there. And he goes, this, and then 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 he goes, this, and But the thing is, is that not too many people or anybody I've ever trained with does that as, as well. First of all, so that, that's his thing here. But what you want to do is you want to move this arm out of the way. So this frame is gonna be essential for this frame to work. So as he is. So here, I wanna roll my hip. You feel how I'm right here? So I'm either gonna pull it or I'm gonna C-frame and push it down right here and roll my hip over. But then I need to move this arm. I guarantee you, and I'm just doing it carefully, that his right arm doesn't feel good. He's gonna move it. But he exposes this arm here and I stay under it here. Because now he's gotta do something with that arm because now that one is exposed here. So that's potentially a key lock right here. But he straightens it out and hides it right here. And now you're here. Got okay. switch it here, 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 here. Okay. The key is to also move your arms properly. So as I'm here, okay, this hand is gonna cup and I attach to my hip, my elbows more at the hip. So if he's framing me here, I can go one, two. And now his arm nice and out of position here. And that's a bad thing for him. Because then you have that. Professor Brad likes to do that, that one also as well. And then how to, how to finish this head arm triangle, whatever this would be. Dip that right shoulder. And then you reach. If you can reach and cover their eyes, your hand is pushing their head down and their neck's getting cranked. Okay, Josh? So what you do is, is that you have to dip your right shoulder, it's on the right side, and then you stretch with that right hand and you clamp right here so that the left hand can come through. I cover his eyes and squeeze. But I'm gonna cover one eye, just like that strap on your belt. Uh -huh. hey! Those ladies. Yeah, you're very nice and sneaky, okay? But it's very good to have Josh here. I know Josh definitely, uh, for Josh to be here, it's uh, it's not easy, I think, for
Officer Philip wants to keep that strike. Right. There you go. And uh, I'm holding into my jack. Army of offspring over here. <laughs> and uh, gentlemen, let this be a motivator for you. Is your dad's got to catch up to you guys because look how many stripes you guys have. And it's a very good to have you and your whole family here, part of ours, basically from almost the beginning, huh? Yeah. How long have you guys been here? Uh, a couple weeks after we started. A couple weeks after we started. All right, guys. So remember, you move that left hand over the head, and that right hand blocks that hip. Let's go. One, two, three. What's up, bro?